just about any woman's smile when you say your hair looks great. Yes, but is that hairstyle causing hair loss? Dermatologists say they are seeing an increase in the number of young women whose hair is falling out. Doctors say it's the result of what patients do to ramp up their appearance. Tonight, WCCO's Angela Davis shows us how those extras may leave you with less hair. For many women, it is their crowning glory. Wait, let wait. me fix my hair. Yes. If there is a way to make their hair bigger and bolder, they will give it a try. Only a curl is gonna but the latest styles can come with something not so pretty, hair loss. It's called traction alopecia, gradual hair loss caused by the constant pulling on the hair. You'll see traction alopecia in young adults, people in their 30s and 40s primarily. Dr. Maria Hordinsky is the chair of the Department of Dermatology at the University of Minnesota. She treats patients with this condition. If you just think about it, you have something constantly pulling on a structure like the hair fiber. It may eventually break, it may fracture, or you might actually cause so much injury that the hair follicle itself in the skin is destroyed. She says hair loss can be caused by ponytails that are too tight for too long, tight headbands that are worn excessively, braids and cornrows that are too tight, and hair extensions that are too heavy. And if you pull on a hair follicle long enough and if you feel a little pain or itch or some sensation, something's going on around your hair bulb, your hair follicle area. Dr. Hordinsky showed us photos of women with traction alopecia from a website called Up to Date. It helps doctors share information with one another. So this is an example of where you have extensions placed and they're putting that weight on the hair. So just look at those fine, fine hair fibers that are present here. I mean, that's not a lot of normal hair to hang something on that's this heavy. She says the best remedy is to stop the behavior that's causing the damage, meaning change your hairstyle. When women lose hair, it's really traumatic. Fatima is the director of salon services at Spalad Montage in Edina. I've been doing hair about 20 years now, and I'm seeing it in women as young as in their early 20s, whereas you used to see hair loss in women that were 50 and older because of hormones. We showed her some of the hair loss photos. I have seen this. Right. Look at this. I have definitely seen this. I've seen where from excessive brushing, gelling, and tight ponytails, the hairline completely be wiped out. She says she's seen hair loss from tight cornrows with hair extensions attached to them. It's about the weight ratio. I mean, if you're going to, if you have hair that is one inch long and you get extensions that are 12 inches long, yeah. it's probably going to be <laughs> exciting, but probably really damaging for your hair. An option Fatima recommends to women with thinning hair is a wig or extensions that clip on rather than ones that are sewn in or glued on. The hair needs a break. You know, these services are not to be guaranteed for a lifetime. The stylist told Angela that she recommends taking hair extensions out after 8 to 10 weeks. There are products that you can spray on your hair to hide thinning areas. Dermatologists say that they can prescribe creams and oils to rejuvenate hair growth. Be aware that hair loss can affect children as well. You can learn more about treating traction alopecia at wccocom links.